Today I want to talk about something that God has really put on my heart and I want to just share some encouragement with you today on authority. My favorite scripture in the Bible is Luke 10 19. Now I know you'll hear me say that about every verse but seriously they're all my favorite. I get so excited about the Word of God but this passage has just been so so powerful to me throughout the years and it's just been on my heart so much and it's authority it's just been on my heart that we have authority over every device of the enemy everything that he can God has authorized us he's empowered us over all the power of the enemy so today I want to encourage you that no matter what it is you're facing <clears throat> You have authority. You get to speak out the word of God, and that word of God will go and perform what it is sent to do. That is the kind of authority that you walk in. I know you may not feel that, and when something blindsides you and you just aren't expecting it or something happens, it just might take your breath away. But in that moment, I want you to remember, you have been given authority. Authority. Let me read to you Luke 10, 19. The word of God, behold, with an exclamation part, point. So make it is, pay attention to this. This is awesome. This is a great declaration. Behold this. Hold on to it. Hold it tightly. Behold, I have given you, not everybody else, you, little old me, yes, you. Behold, I have given you authority and power, authority and power. You know, it's one thing that somebody gives you authority in an area, but then to back it up with power. Behold, I have given you authority and power. So whatever it is you're facing today, the Lord has given you not only authority, but he's given you power to be successful in this thing, to get through anything that is in front of you, no matter what it is in any level. It could be a relationship thing. It could be a document thing. It could be work thing. It could be it could be um, a physical thing it could be whatever it is you're facing behold I have given you authority and power to trample upon serpents and scorpions you know that is just miraculous power that is supernatural power. that's not natural power you've been supernatural powered not just natural so I have given you authority and power to trample upon serpents and scorpions and physical and mental strength and ability oh thank you so much Lord because sometimes it takes more than just knowing you have power and authority. It's going to take physical, mental strength, and ability. It says he's given you the ability to. You might think, well, that's something I just don't even know about. I don't have any skills in. Nope, right here in this passage, it says he's given you physical strength, mental strength, and ability. Behold, I have given you all those things. So whatever it is your face, even if it's so far beyond you, I love living in that place. Every day of my life, I have lived so far beyond myself. It is awesome because it is not me. It is not me. It is God. I am nothing without God. But with God, I have everything and nothing is impossible for me. So let's read that again. Behold, I have given you authority and power to trample upon serpents and scorpions and physical, mental, and mental strength and ability over all, all. That means anything that can come in, anything that's slung at you, anything that the enemy can put in front of you, anything that you have to face over all the power of the enemy. That, all the power that the enemy possesses. So anything that he can throw at you, you have been given the mental power and authority over it. You have been given the physical power and authority over it. And you've been given ability over that situation, the ability to be successful through it and nothing. No thing, nothing. That is one of my favorite words. Nothing, 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 nothing. So when we think, but, but, but this, but this is too big, but, but making excuses, nothing. The word of God says nothing, not one thing. It, he's given you power, authority, power, mental strength, and ability over all the power of the enemy, and nothing 
shall in any way, not in any way that it comes in, but you don't understand. This is just different. No, nope. not in any way harm you. Nothing shall be by any means harm you. I love this so much. This passage is so powerful, and we just need to be reminded sometimes of our authority. God has given us the authority. He's done everything that he needs to do for us to be successful all the way to the end of life. He doesn't have to come back down and be crucified again. He doesn't have his price that was paid was more than enough. But you are the one that's been authorized. You've been given the authority and the power over all the power of the enemy, and nothing can in any way harm you. This has been given to you. So we are the ones that are responsible to walk in that power and authority. So I just want to remind you real quick today, you have been given authority. Read this scripture, write it out, repeat it to yourself, and walk in that authority today over all the power of the enemy. Be, be blessed. I love you.